Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys all about my plans for using the new US Constitution course by The Good and the Beautiful, how I plan to use it in my homeschool, answering your guys' questions on if I'm counting this as a high school credit, all that good stuff. So if you got the Constitution course or you're interested in teaching your kids more about the US Constitution, then I think that this video will be helpful to you guys. I do wanna thank the Good and the Beautiful for partnering with me on bringing you guys today's video all about how I will be using the Constitution course in my homeschool. I will have a link to their website down below. You can actually find the Constitution course in a PDF download for a limited time for free there. And of course you can find everything that I'm gonna be showing you guys on their website to be purchased. But now I have some notes in my iPhone to share with you guys about how I'm gonna use this course, so let's talk all about it. So in this video, I am not gonna be going into the specific subject matter of like what is in the Constitution course course or anything like that. If you want to read all about what is in here, um, where it came from, all that good stuff, The Good and the Beautiful has an FAQ uh, page on their website that will give you guys all of the answers and helpful information uh, when it comes to the course contents. In today's video, I'm just strictly sharing how I'm going to be doing it in my homeschool. So the first thing that I have to share with you guys is that this Constitution course is meant to be taught as a unit study. It is not an entire like year long course. Uh, there are, uh, I believe 32, yes, 32 uh, lessons in here and the table of contents shows all of that right there. So there are 32 lessons in total. On the front of the course, it says that it's for grades four through eight, but of course you can uh, teach it to your younger kids or have them listen in on it uh, because they do have a U.S. Constitution activity book. This um, is not like a lesson. There's, It's just something for younger kids to be doing, um, introducing, you know, that there is a Constitution and that type of thing. I think the website recommends this for K through third grade. Uh, so the unit study is recommended through grades four through eight, but I'm gonna go out on a limb here and let you guys know that I think the majority of adults in our country do not know this information. So although it says grades four through eight, I definitely think that adults and therefore high school age children can definitely benefit from participating in this unit study. Um, so I just wanted to get that out of the way. There is also a read aloud book that is called Mystery on Constitution Island. It is written by Maggie Felsch and Jenny Phillips. And it says on the back, learning about the US Constitution becomes an exciting adventure when Bailey, when the Bailey family sets out to explore a private island in search of answers to mysterious riddles left by their late grandfather. Um, it's a fact-filled adventure story and it provides the perfect setting for parents to come together and learn more about the foundation and significance of the U.S. Constitution. So we will definitely be reading this read aloud. And then another thing that comes um, that is available are these U.S. Constitution student journals. So this is where your kids will answer questions and I love the beautiful layout of them inside here. Um, there's like fact pages about the different signers of the Constitution, including women, that here's one right here. Um, so, that I just love these things. So we have our journals, we have our read aloud, we have our coloring book, even though my kids are older, they'll still like doing that, and then we of course have our course book. So we will be teaching it as a unit study because that is the way that it is intended to be taught. Obviously, you can do what you want with any of your homeschooling materials, but we will be doing it as a unit study. So I wanted to personally do this unit study because it is something I am very, very excited about. Um, I wanted to do it at a time where I feel like I sometimes need a little bit of re-energizing in my motivation to teach my kids. And that generally comes 
after the holidays, like into the third quarter, like January, February. So as I was looking at my history course, because when we get into this unit study, I am going to pause on our The Good and the Beautiful History year four. We are in year four of their history, and so this is our last uh, year um, if we just went through everything one time. And so I looked at the course. History year four from the Good and the Beautiful has ancient Rome as your first unit, the Reformation and history of the Bible as unit two, and then unit three is slavery and the Civil War era, and then unit four is post-World War II and the Civil Rights Movement. So as I was looking at that, I was like, the perfect time would be to, to do this constitution course would be probably after unit two on the history of the Bible before we get into slavery and the Civil War era. And so that actually worked out really well with my timing. So we are going to take a pause on history after we finish unit two in our history course, which should be right around the first of the year. So for the third quarter of our homeschool year, so for about nine weeks, I plan on teaching this US Constitution and government um, study to my kids. And then we will resume history after that point and finish up with the final two units in our history course of um, year four history from the good and the beautiful. Now, there are 32 lessons, like I said, in here. And so to finish it in nine weeks, you do need to do two to three uh, lessons per week. And that works out perfectly because that is how often I'm teaching history anyways. So I will just put this in where we would ordinarily have done a history lesson and uh, I think that that'll work out really great. I do want to include my husband um, in this uh, you know teaching. I know it's not feasible for us to do it every week but I would like us to do some lessons maybe on Saturday or Sunday uh, after church or something like that together as a family and so I think that that would be really fun. I know my husband would love it and I know my kids would probably love it so that's kind of what I'm thinking. Definitely two lessons in here um, during the school week and then maybe an additional one on the weekends uh, and we should be able to get through this in about nine weeks nine to ten weeks time and that will be perfect so I am looking at my notes to see um, so I think it'll be a great re-energizer for us all at that point in our school year because you know, if I'm excited to teach something naturally, my kids are going to be more excited about it. And I've probably not been as excited to teach something in a while as I am to teach this uh, course to my kids. I'm excited to learn from this course. I'm excited to just dig into it. And, um, and I think it's going to be very meaningful. And I think that the placement of when I'm going to teach it is also going to work out really, really well. So, um, that is my plan for how I'm going to do it. Now to address the question, am I going to count this as a high school credit? Now everybody can do, you know, what works in their home for their state, for their, um, their student, you know, this is just me and my house. So I am not really worried right now about counting it as a high school credit. I'm just more concerned with teaching my daughter this information. So I, um, she'll definitely take a U.S. government course probably later on in her high schooling journey. And so, you know, will I count this? Yes, I'm going to give her a U.S. government credit by the time she's graduating. Um, will I be counting this specific course as a high school credit this year? No, but that doesn't mean that I'm not teaching it to her. I think that she can learn it this year and then she can learn more later on in high school and we'll just go from there. So I really am not super stressed out about counting everything as a high school credit because I care more about just teaching my kids things that I want them to know and I feel that they should learn and I feel they should have a great understanding of. I'm more concerned with that. So this year, am I going to count this course as a high school credit? No, but 
in the future is she going to have a u.s government credit on her transcript yes do i think she'll revisit a some type of course for u.s government and constitution yeah i will have her revisit that later on in high school so that um answers the question of that now I do have a few little extras that I have found on my own. These are not required, but I just thought I would share them with you guys. And I will link to all of this down below as well in case you want to add on any of these supplemental or additional resources. So I have this um, small book, the book, The Declaration of Independence and short biographies of its signers. I think it's pretty cool to have this. And uh, so we've had this on our shelf, so we plan to pull this out as well. Uh, over the summer when we were traveling in Gunnison, Colorado, I found this poster here. Um, and it is signers of the U.S. Constitution, and it has pictures of them all. And then it has the Bill of Rights on the back. And I found this in a bookstore in Gunnison, Colorado, but I was able to find something similar on Amazon for you guys, so I'll link to it um, down below, but I thought that this would be a really nice visual aid. And then the last thing that I found was actually courtesy of one of my followers messaging me. Um, this is called the American Patriots Almanac, um, and it's daily readings on America. So every day there's a date and there's a small little reading um, on something that has to do with American history from Arlington National Cemetery to Mount Vernon um, to on March 19th there's a section about a book that helped end slavery um, the Boston Massacre like just dates of all American history and so I am going to put this in our morning cart and we are going to read something from American history every day and I thought that this was a great resource as well so I will link to this down below for you guys um, so yeah that is what our study of the US Constitution course plans are looking like I plan to do it all with all four of my kids family style all around the table hopefully with my husband included we will be adding in this fun read aloud and I am just so excited to teach this um, toward the back, there's a little activity I wanted to show you guys this where you can build your own U.S. Capitol building. Uh, there's tons of games. These are actually like pop up into three dimensional shapes of the White House. Um, so there's just a ton of great stuff in here. Um, there, the pages are colorful. They are beautiful. They're um, good quality. They're not paper. And this is bound. A lot of you guys were wondering if it, if it was coming loose like the science units, but it's actually bound. Um, and yeah, it goes through every article in the Constitution. It gives you like the items needed for the lesson right there. Uh, it has questions and discussions. The pages are beautiful and this course is open and go So just like the majority if not all of the good and the beautiful curriculum You literally just have to open it up glance at the page and begin teaching. There's not a ton to um, Prepare ahead of time other than taking a look at the supply sheet that is at the front of the course book and making sure that you have the items needed and then it gives you everything so just making sure that you have the items needed the majority of the things that i'm seeing here on this items needed page are things you would have around your home anyway so lesson one is on seeking the truth and that is where we will be starting the lesson has questions and it um they have a fun activity with some history case files and uh yeah super excited to teach this you guys i'm so excited about it so i hope that that helps give you guys some ideas of how i plan to teach it taking a pause on history doing a unit study on the constitution i'm going to plug it in right after the holidays and i think it'll work out really well with moving into um the civil civil war era and that time period right after this and I think that the timeline will work out really, really well. So that is my plan for this. If you have any questions about the U.S. Constitution course, post them down below and I will be get, I will definitely get back to you. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any great resources that you plan to add into this. 
documentaries, books, anything cool like that. If you have any ideas, let me know because I love hearing from you guys. Um, but I hope that this was helpful. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know if you're going to be teaching the Constitution course and if you're as excited as I am. I will have links to everything I talked about uh, down below in the description box for you guys. And I will see you all in my next one really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.